And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for Rank Up Sunday. We got three very good decks to play today. Uh, kind of pretending like these would be like the three decks we could play in a seasonal tournament if a seasonal tournament was today. Um, we're going to be starting with Aurelian Soul Leona, which this is actually the only one that I haven't played. Uh, but this is a deck that I'm um, just playing against this deck all the time. It always looks really good uh, whenever I'm on the other side of, of the board just watching them play the, this deck. So what we got going on here is we have a defensive-oriented deck um, where we're trying to get to the late game and trying to get to Aurelian Soul. Um, we're going to be using our Daybreak cards because they are just awesome at playing defense. and They're just very large bodies whenever you play them. Like You get a 3-3 for 1 mana, a 3-6 for 2 mana, um, and then, of course, you have Leona that can stun enemies. Your Solari Priestess invokes. Raven creates more Daybreak cards for you, being a 5 mana 5-5. Five, five. All pretty strong stuff. Um, besides that, we have a really huge lifesteal unit with our Daybreaks as well, with Solari Sunforger, and that can work really well with the Demacia uh, um, fight cards, being able to uh, use those as removal with your lifesteal. We got a couple Grand Plazas in here. Going with two Grand Plazas instead of three, because this is a card you really don't want to draw multiples of, and it's not really a card that's completely necessary for our deck, but it's very powerful when we have the Grand Plaza, we're going to be very happy. We, I, I kind of don't think that you actually need three, though, because if you if you have games where you draw two or even three, which which can happen, um, you know, we saw that whenever we played the uh, Noxus Landmark the other day um, with the Frostbite cards, and sometimes we were drawing all three of the Noxus Landmarks, and they were really hindering us. Our deck's not relying on the Grand Plaza. It's just a, a super strong card in our deck, and I think we're just going to go ahead and try two of them. Um, let's see... Um, and then, of course, our top end. We got Eclipse Dragon. We got Aurelian Soul. Same kind of thing. I'm going to play two Aurelian Souls instead of three. So we're just going to play five champions just because, again, you don't really want to have like a bunch of Aurelian Souls get stuck in your hand. But obviously, it's it's an incredibly powerful card and what our deck is going to be building towards. We're going to have Eclipse Dragon that we're going to be trying to play with Daybreak to make it cost two less and then play our Aurelian Soul for eight mana. That's something that's going to be happening quite a bit. Because because we aren't playing those as much, we, we have a couple more interaction spells than normal. First, first and foremost, we have the two mana cards. And this is what really makes this deck great, is single combat, hush, sharp sight. That's what really makes this deck great, are these amazing two mana spells um, that, that just... Uh, that these other larger units make the, the single combats very good. You get to block the elusives. You have Hush, which is just you know maybe one of the best cards in the format. Those are awesome. Um, I, I am fitting in two Strafing Strikes in here. I know some people play like Judgment in this deck, um, but I, I like the cheaper card. I want to be able to um, play these big units and then have spell mana. Like I want to be able to play Sunforger, use spell mana on Strafing Strike and stuff like that. Like I want to be able to have the, the cheaper cards. It's just, we our deck's already going to have a ton of expensive cards, especially when we start invoking with like Solari Priestess and everything. I just don't really want Judgment because I think it's too expensive. So we're going to try Strafing Strike instead. Um, but yeah, there we go. That's that's the deck. So I think this one's going to be very good because just playing against it looks very good. Um, so we're going to go play five games in Ranked and we're going we're gonna to go uh, play five games with each deck. After this, we got Nightfall Control coming up, which is a deck that I've been working on off stream uh, that I really like. And then we're, we're going to replay Soraka Brahm. I know we just played Soraka Brahm two days ago. Uh, we were thinking about maybe putting in like a Zoe deck in there in the third slot. And I and um, I, would, I would definitely, you know, if there was a seasonal term today, I would definitely be working on like maybe playing a Zoe deck. Because um, I think Zoe's really good. But... I don't have any specific Zoe list that I'm like super confident in right now, and I really liked how that Soraka Brahm list looked the other day, and so we're gonna just go ahead and play that one today again as well. All right, let's give this a try. And let's get started. We got a, a lot of Daybreak cards. We'll level up our Leona pretty fast. All right, Cabo, do you want, um, you said Thursday or Friday, do you have a preference? Left 
It's I think it's either pass or play Solari Soldier. I guess no, it's play Solari Soldier. You know, it's you know basically the whole pass of like save the two mana for single combat. No, let's just we'll play this. We'll still have uh, two mana for single combat after we play the Shield Bearer. Huh. I don't change fate, but I can see it. Follow the horizon. Clear off. Because like if I if I play Plaza on this turn, then I'm not really doing anything on their turn because I want I'm gonna want to save like these for for afterwards and. I'm getting a lot of fight spells. We're gonna need some card advantage spells. Like a fish in water. Coming up sometime soon. Hopefully. All right, sounds good. We got Bilgewater Burn, Overwhelm Vlad, Fiora Shen, and Field of Rush Mina. Cool. Through the coral. No mercy for heretics. <laughs> no, no, yeah, no nerfs yet for Go Hard. Um, that's something that could happen in the future, but so far not so much. Puppy, come here. Oh, hey puppy. Hey puppy. No Targon Speak in this deck, no. Definitely love the Eclipse Dragon draw. That'll give me something good to play in two turns. Yeah, there's a lot of little things they could do with Pack Your Bags. Or sorry, with the go hard, yeah, they can make pack your bags cost more. Maybe, uh, uh, you know, enough, like, four or five mana so it can't just be found with, with Sprayfin. You can make it where it puts one card back instead of two. You can make it um, where if the target fizzles, it doesn't put the copies back. So if they try to, like, go hard your thing and you glimpse beyond it, they don't get two, two copies of go hard back in their deck. There's a lot of, like, small things they could do to the card. Yeah, I think that's what I would choose as well. Um, I, I kind of want to use the strafing strikes, and I know it's three. You know, it's just basically it's three man over two. I guess that works better with a dragon. All right, we'll use single combat. <clears throat> I think that's what I'd probably do too. Is just make pack your bags cost more mana, where you don't get you. You're not able to just tutor up pack your bags with sprayfin. That was a great turn for them. Not allowing me to do any life stealing. That was that was a great turn for them. Alright, speaking of good draws, that's a good draw, because that'll give me something to do this turn and save my three spell mana for next turn. The day don't need riches. Focus on me! Mm. Either, I'm either going to take the Destroyer or Cosmic Inspiration. One of those two. I think the Destroyer. So if I want to play Eclipse Dragon, I have to play either Strafing Strike or, or Sharp Sight first. I think that's okay. Because the other option, of course, is just playing the Destroyer this turn. And then not playing something first. But I kind of like this. 
yeah, Unspeakable Horror is really good. Yeah, they're they're uh, getting some more card advantage from that. Another great glimpse beyond for them. Never lost a fair game. We'll soak it in. I'm leaning towards just playing the Immortal Fire. And then next turn, playing Destroyer, and then having one of those other two available. So they just pass to me. You know, I could I could see this being like they want me to play something, then they're going to Ruination. But no, I think I play the Immortifier. Looks like trouble. So block with the Eclipse Dragon because of the Fury. But obviously that was their plan. Well, now we have five cards, they have seven, so we're a lot closer to being even than what we were previously. how they take it takes them so long I, I think that they're just I don't know okay now all right finally they passed at the end of the timer whoa after wizard gifting out a sub pedicle getting it let's get some hype votes in the chat thank you after wizard bringing some hype to the stream while we sit here and wait on our opponent to do something. So it does make their ruination kind of good, throwing down Catrogen if they have a second ruination, which they do. But again, Catrogen is just a free card for us. Uh, we'll be able to get more free cards in the future. I don't know how. There, Come finally. Closer. I don't know why they don't get like less time. Either, I don't know. You won't suffer long. Okay, so we've seen two ruinations, a vengeance, two twisted fates. And Delphinus getting the sub. You know, get some more hype in here after Wizard. Bringing it today. So in order to play a Nightfall Dragon, I would have had to use Hush first. That didn't sound too appealing. So that's their third glimpse beyond. Hmm. Okay, so they've played two Vengeance, two Ruination, all three glimpse beyonds, two Twisted Fate. Of blood and sweat. 
Hmm. Not a good draw. Really need just any unit. To get rich. <laughs> Another Cadrogen. That's our dragon of choice these days. Alright, that's the last Twisted Fate. Eyes open. So I can play the Trickster right now. I could wait wait because of Grand Plaza if I would choose to. There's nothing to fear. So the thing I like about not using Trickster right now is that we get to save Sharp Sight. Ooh. Alright, so I was planning on just going Cadrogen. But it's probably better to play Shield Bear and Trickster, yeah. Yeah. Unyielding light. We haven't seen a single champion yet. This is my opponent's fifth champion that they've played. They've played five, I've played zero. And they've only drawn four more cards than me. Whoa, there we go. Jenga. Jenga getting that sub. Thanks, thanks so much, Jenga, using your Twitch Prime here for three months in a row. So I could just not do... I could not challenge and just, you know, have four hit them, put them down to six. But I think it is better to kill stuff. All right, gives our sub number five on the day. The box. We'll keep Elise alive. Meh. Basically, I'm using the sharp side just to kill the Elise. Right, like it, my my trickster will still die. It'll take six total now. Like it'll die to the least damage. We'll save concerted strike though. All right, so we've had we've killed five champions. All their twisted fates are gone. Um, you know, two rotation gone, two vengeance gone, all three glimpse beyond gone. Aurelian soul, priestess. That's good. Priestess is good. We'll get another Celestial card. I think I'll just go back to my turn. Play this as a 2-3 Challenger. The Traveler was the card I was hoping to hit, because, you know, the Traveler can just help us continue on. Don't know much, do you? The Crescent Strike here is kind of going for the win. We'll see if they have, like, if they have multiple pack your back. Like, maybe I should just go for the, with the Warrior. I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure they've only played two Gohards, so, like, they'd have to have two more Gohards in hand for pack your bags. They've played two Ruinations. I don't think that, the, I would be surprised if they're playing three. I think they're out of Ruination. But then again, I wasn't expecting the Box or Moonlight Affliction. So worst case scenario, they have pack your bags, and in that scenario, they take 10 and go to 3. Best case, case scenario, they don't have pack your bags and they lose. Our 
which we'll, we'll do 11. I'm going to turn this thing into being an 11-3. We'll put him down to 2. Alright, so they had, the, they had the card they needed to stay alive, so, but they only have one more card. I'm sitting here with an 11-3 matching up against their 2-2. Because I couldn't, I couldn't let the packer bags happen first, because then this would be, you know, two health, and then I couldn't, I couldn't like then strafing strike. So it's important to do that first. If they, I was thinking that they had another go hard, and so then I was gonna just play Catrogen and then give the Eclipse Dragon plus. Two plus two afterwards, but I'll just do it like that. I'm just gonna play this Robin and go to like open attack, basically, because they, they have one card. I, I kind of see like maybe that was just like one blocker, and they'd only be able to block one of these two. Yeah. Yeah, that was maybe the longest game I've ever played, <laughs> with how they took forever every turn. That was 40 minutes. All right, playing against some deep. I could see this being a difficult matchup. Yep. I don't know exactly what I want, but all that stuff seems kind of slow. Hey, Manunex! Awesome! Glad you love the YouTube channels. Welcome! For the, the YouTube videos. Welcome, welcome. Happy to have you here. Good, good toss for us. Getting rid of like other other good toss cards. We're not taking the warrior. We're either gonna take the traveler or ridden in stars. The warrior is less important with having the grand plaza in play. I already have a really soul in hand. I'll take the traveler. That's pretty nice. My spirit shines. Yeah, triple dredge dredgers is strong. Like they're they're basically already deep now. That was a, that's a good hand. Triple dredge dredger. Like yeah, stalking shadows hit dredge dredger is the dream. So yeah, they're basically already deep. Cool. Clips Dragon's a good hit. Yeah, that's a really good hit for us. Help us get to a really soul faster. Mm. Yeah. yeah, well, thank you very much, man. You next. Glad to have you over here on Twitch also. So I'm planning on playing Eclipse Dragon next turn, and then Aurelian Soul the turn after. I don't think I'm going to have time for this Cosmic Inspiration, I don't think. Like maybe I'll just play the Scourge? I, mean, I guess I could maybe just take this the Charger, because I can actually play this this turn. Yeah, actually, let's do that. More myself than ever. Yeah, let's do that. 
Those other things are going to be you know, like very expensive, and you know, by the time by the time we be playing them, we'll get more cards from a really soul anyway. They're down to four, which is the good news, and we had an awesome turn. Again, good news. Bad news is I did use my Hush, and so now I'm not going to have Hush for... For Nautilus. And that could definitely cost me not having Hush for Nautilus now. next with a tier one sub thank you so much for the support y'all get some hype in the chat for our newest viewer that's awesome thank you so much um yeah i'm i'm not exactly sure what they're doing here with this with that their trade i'm not i'm not exactly sure what they're doing with that attack for the seven seven Yeah, not not too sure at all. I will not rest. What's their plan? Like bile feast something? Like withering whale? Riptide? Oh, I, that was not lethal. I don't know why I thought that was lethal. Oh, they still conceded. I should have, I should have, I should have, like, tried to, I should have killed the Nautilus with Concern Strike. <laughs> still, yeah, that was, that was kind of a crazy ending. Alright, playing against Zoe with Leona. Same regions. Zoe over Aurelian Soul. I'll keep Leona. There's two. One sling, a bunch of targets. Devotion to battle. I think it makes sense just to trade Solari Soldier. And no, I'm not using Sharp Sight to save uh, the soldier. That's no big deal. play Zoe in attack so I could have the sharp side do stuff. Forger, your work is 
To shine like the sun, you must burn like it! The strength of the sun and my faith are one! Forge ahead! I do have, like, this kind of protection for Leona, but I don't think it's worth it, even with that, to attack in. Behold my work! Alright, I'm happy with having all these two-mana spells still. Alright, so we'll stun that shield bearer. Sunlight line. Just how do I want to deal with this Zoe? Do I want to go, like, if they attack with Zoe? Do I want to go sharp sight to block or use hush? I'm not sure. Targon's history is in each stone and star. So I do have two hushes, but hush is probably more valuable than sharp sight overall. I'll just use, I guess I'll use hush because we have two of them. But I don't know, maybe I should be using sharp sight. Again, I have to waste one of these spells to get Nightfall Dragon. I guess I waste this one. I, know I could single combat the Scryer, but single combat is just too valuable. I'm happy with that trade. I'm happy with trading my Sharp Sight for their Kill Cascade. With them not drawing a card, I'm happy with that trade. All right, and then this serpent is very going to be very good with Eclipse Dragon for next turn. We're turning on Nightfall. Her light is our sword. Her walk, our armor. That's gonna be pretty good. Channel our power. It's gonna be pretty good. Targon invoke cards, they they're pretty good. We're gonna do this while they only have two mana. All right, so we've killed two Zoe's. My 
A2 could still trade with like the 7-6, seven, 7-7 seven, seven block something else. Our sun will not set today. The power of the immortal sun. Glorious light rains down. Stone the Robin. Not light it challenge. The strength of the sun and my faith are one. Uh, that's not good. Warriors of the Raharak, our time is now. Forge ahead. Radiant strikes. Sun sets. Honestly, maybe I should just be blocking out like a two-two to keep their board full, so they can't play anything else. Potentially. They think themselves cultured. <laughs> Alright, if this works, we'll have leveled up Aurelian Soul. If they don't have any removal. Star Shaping, of course, can only get cards that cost seven or more, so you'd think they wouldn't be able to play it with six mana, but they do have double Mountain Scryer, so they, you know, can play anything that costs up to eight mana. Awesome. Constellations bow to me. And the hope is Aurelian Soul takes over from here. My, how they Good draw. I guess I could let Robin attack. It's true. <laughs> we we do play Sky's Descend. It's just it's another you know our Sky's Descend is another really soul. That's our Sky's Descend. So they'll begin to turn. They're they're only gonna have two blockers. We're gonna be able to challenge one of the two blockers. Yeah, this is why really insult is kind of messed up. This is the wrong path. Hopefully that's good enough. Looks like it. There we go. Really insult, just dude. You know, like when you're playing those kind of long Targon Invoke matches, really insult. Just it's the card that wins. Um, Diggs, if you're asking about like the next seasonal tournament, it's going to be in about the next seasonal tournament's in about 50 days or so. If that's what you're asking about. The Grand Plaza. All right, this hand looks acceptable. Ours is the one true light. Yeah, I like I like Aurelian Soul Leona more than a little Aurelian Soul Garen. I just like how Leona can um, can just play some some better defense of slowing the opponent down with the stuns. Like that was very important to that last game, getting the different stuns in. 
All right, I can take the hit for two. I don't. We don't need to play shield bear to block two damage. Yeah, don't really need to do that. The scar grounds. So if I if I don't want the Braum to challenge and do all of it like its stuff, I have to cast Hush first. But then if I cast if I cast Hush first, then I don't have the Daybreak for these. Um, you know, most importantly, the Daybreak for Priestess. So if I cast Hush first, I'm passing. So I just Hush and pass. So I'm hoping between Robin and Sharpsight, that being eight total. Yeah. Kill Braum. Um, I could kill Tarkaz. I think I should kill Braum. Well, I'm glad I didn't go after Tarkaz. That worked out. Definitely glad we we went after Braum. Hey, nickname. The winter's claw strikes. Unyielding light. So this gives me concerted strike mana still. Alright, so we're gonna concerted strike and kill. So now I may want to kill Tarkas so they don't get the one damage. But then they get to Braum challenge my soldier. This soldier being here. I guess they have Braum challenge over here anyway. I guess I'll do Tarkaz. Let's show our friends the door. Good luck. Have fun. It is easy, see? Sunlight guide you, my brethren. You must be Lord Vladimir. And you must be. In her radiant blessing. I guess I guess maybe I should just be playing Shield Bear. So I was looking, you know, looking for the fallen comment for here, but maybe I should just be playing Shield Bear. My spirit shines. Shield Bear would, would allow me to challenge like the Crimson Disciple or something. Yeah. Sometimes I see hot. Just needs warm spot. Drawing, drawing a whole bunch of grand plazas can can cost you games, and it's just not a card that we necessarily have to draw to win games. If that makes sense. So, so I don't think it has to be a three up because we don't need to draw it, and drawing too many will cost us games. Back heretic. Yeah, I could be dead here. They had a great hand. Double Braum, Vladimir, Scar Grounds with the, the good protection. Yeah, they had a great hand. Yep, looks like I'm dead. That'll be lethal. GG's.
Yeah, I kind of feel like I should have killed Braum. Instead of Tarkaz. Alright, let's see. Hi, Merzoe. Good see Mulliganing Leona here also. Yeah, the second Solari Priestess, I don't think I could have played. I think I had to play... Yeah, I don't think I could play that second Solari Priestess like I did. I think I had to play the um, Solari... The, the two mana 3-7 and, you know, make it a 4-7 challenge with that card. Stomper. That's a good name for a card. The dawn has arrived. Her light across the cool art and everything. This is just the a well-designed card right here. Reveals. Startled Stomper. So I just kept my three spell mana, so I can just keep strafing strike for a future turn. I'm not exactly sure if that's worth it or not, to be honest. I don't know if I should have played that. Because, you know, now they like, play like a Zoe or a Heimerdinger, I don't have any answer to, for those cards. Try to leave it dead. So now they can Aftershock my uh, Leona, but that's still me getting a two for one, and I have a backup Leona anyway. Yeah, I, I should have waited on that. I, I shouldn't have played that removal spell when I did. Unyielding light. Behold the divine power of the sun. I love sparkle fire. Someday I'm going to shoot one of them down. is not the <laughs> it's a little bit of an awkward hand triple seven drop but i think we'll be okay um you yeah, know we'll see how like heimerdinger can get pretty crazy though so we'll have to see how crazy this heimerdinger gets but obviously i'm just gonna play um eclipse dragon next turn into a really soul my best draw steps are are spells that cost three or less mana because i'll have this extra mana so, you know, Hush, Single Combat, Sharp Sight, all that kind of stuff. The only holiday worth celebrating. It works? Oh, it works! That's 19 power. If nothing dies on our end, a Rillian Soul will level up next turn. Daylight is unrelenting, but not eternal. Spilled paint 
Science is just accidental art. Other option besides playing the Aurelian Soul and trying to level up Aurelian Soul is I could play... Okay, never mind. I was gonna say I could play Eclipse Dragon and then Leona's Morning Light. Wait, let's say we had that still in play. I could go, because I'd be able to go Eclipse Dragon, which would make, which would make this one cost five, and then Morning Light, and we'd get the double Daybreak bonus from the two Eclipse Dragons, and then I'd be able to play another Eclipse Dragon. So I would be able to go Eclipse Dragon, Morning Light, Eclipse Dragon. I would have been able to do that. I think we'll go with the inspiration. The so <laughs> Alright, so that's 25 still. They got removal or nah? One star's whoopsie is another spark. Removal or nah? Mystical levitation requires concentration. Kinda looks like nah. No removal, leveled up Aurelian Soul. worried about this Metro of the Stones. I think I'm more worried about them having all those gems. We have played against the slowest opponents. There we go. Okay, never mind. <laughs> yeah, we're at an hour and 20 minutes and we're still in game five. Our deck's not fast, but still. with the Eclipse Dragon because we get it, you know, another Celestial and it was going to be zero cost with leveled up Aurelian Soul. Just a little Charger. So, you know, we're getting one mana cards normally with Equinox and Charger. I am going to be able to Star Shaping though. Get a nice zero cost card there. Oh, get a move on. Yeah, I could see this being a catastrophe deck. I'm kind of glad they just used Equinox on this little Eclipse Dragon. Okay, like I'm not attacking or anything. I don't... Hush. What's Hush doing? Hush ain't doing too much right now. We played some good cards. Grab like a fight spell. Another 10 7 fight something. My, how they stare. Ah. Alright, there we go. Four and one. Victory today, freedom tomorrow. All right, this deck just is is awesome, right? Like it, you know, like we went four one. It our opponent had a, a really great Vladimir Brom hand. Like that, that's kind of like what it takes to to beat this deck. Uh, their their hand was pretty perfect. Yeah, this deck just seems super powerful. Like these, um, you know, these invoke cards are really powerful. Your top end Aurelian Soul is incredible, and you just have good removal. 
you know, having concerted strikes, strafing strikes, single combat, that's all good removal. You know, like, like one Solari Soldier, or like one of these things, a Solari Sunforger against that Vladimir Brom deck, probably would have swung it in our favor if we would have had this, or if we would have had Leona, probably either one of those. Um, but that's okay. Uh, but then this, you know, like this kind of interaction, you know, Hush, Sharp Sight, amazing. Yeah, basically, like, whenever I play against this deck, I lose. <laughs> And it makes sense. And then, you know, you just have, like, the Grand Plaza in here, which, you know, you don't really need, but you just have it in here because it's awesome. Yeah, this deck's really strong. Um, just kind of like Targon in general. Very, very strong. So, yeah, this would be the first deck. Rank up Sunday. Um, yeah, this deck's really good. We're going to try out two more Targon decks. And uh, with some different stuff, we're going to go over to Nightfall Control with Diana and Nocturne up next. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of this kind of deck. If you've been playing this deck yourself, how has it been going for you? What do you think of the changes that I made? I did, you know, update it a little bit. You know, I'm, I'm not playing Judgment. Um, I'm playing Strafing Strike. I'm only playing two Grand Plaza, two Aurelian Soul, um, you know, two Star Shaping, some different cards that other people are playing a lot more of. Um, I'm, you know, I want a lower curve. We got nine of these two mana cards in here. And then again, the strafing strikes give us some cheaper interaction. So let, let me know if you try out this list. How, how does it go for you? If you're somebody who's been playing a really insult Leona a whole lot, um, yeah, let me know what you think of like, you know, if you've been playing like a different list, maybe, you know, comparing the two. Yeah, I'd love to hear that feedback. So uh, leave those comments. All right, but that's it here for Aurelian Soul Leona. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.